Hi everyone. Max and Bernie here. Just wanted to show you a few new features. Got a few donations and with those donations I bought these they're sensor lights that come on. Oh, who's that? Where's Max? There's Max. We'll go see him in a minute. Anyways, I got eight of these. I had originally these two. And they're really nice. So when you pass by at night, they come on. So I, I'm going to situate them all the way around the cage. I had to do some snow blowing today. As you can see, I've got path on the outside, path on the inside. Because I need access to his enclosure at all times. Need to be able to get in and out of um, any gate. I'm going to show you a problem that I did not think about when we put up this security fence. This is the back of his pole barn. You can see how <laughs> tight it is. The snow has come off the roof. And I can't get the snow blower back here. So what we're going to do, um, my friend Deb and I will take up this post and that post and move it back. So it'll be angled from this corner out across and then angled back in. That way that'll give me access behind here for the snowblower and for um, the lawnmower. You probably wonder why do I snow blow back here? One, two, uh, is it two years ago? I don't know, there's a video on our um, YouTube channel. It, we had a lot of rain in February and his cage just flooded, just flooded. If I keep this area cleared the sun will melt the snow and then if we get any rain um, or ice or anything like that it'll soak quicker into the ground not sit on top and drain into his enclosure of course he's going to have flooding and ice anyways because of all the snow I'm not removing the snow out of his enclosure because that's what Max loves Max loves the snow where are you baby hi Hi, Max Max. Well, hello. Well, hello, baby. So we'll put some lights back here. Two, three, four, all the way around his enclosure so that when I'm back here at night, because I do snow blow at night and I do check on him at night, um, it'll, be, it'll be nice to have these these lights that come on and they are it's like a hundred LEDs and they are so bright don't know if I could get that to come on or not nope of course not because it's still light out but anyways now I have another one over here also with the donations he's gonna get a new roof that one is from like day one so it is 10 years old actually probably even older than that because when I had my woodchuck lily she had the enclosure and it was um, covered with metal so I need um, new metal roofing and then on this side this side of the garage I'm gonna put um, security lighting and another security lighting the one on the front needs to be replaced and um, you know for security reasons I'd like to have that one up and working too. Hey everyone I wanted to see I wanted to show you the um, the lighting that I got that comes on automatically Let's see if it'll come on there it goes. See how bright it is? That's why I love those lights. 100 LEDs. That one should come on in a second. Hi, Max. 
Isn't this nice? So, as I showed you earlier during the day, I set up four of them. I got four to do in the back. There's Max pacing. It's dinner time. But, um, I just wanted to show you. Okay, we're back over on this side. Okay. Um, previous donations from Christine and Evan, I earmarked that to put in a little um, pond and little waterfall. It's going to go there because, and the grass doesn't grow under here anyways because of the, the pole barn blocks the sun and it also blocks the rain, so it's just like a dead area. But I think that Max will love having a little vernal pool here. I thought about having it in the corner, but um, he tends to, he pees, pees over there as you, <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but see the yellow snow? <laughs> so he pees over there, and then I got the tree, and that would just probably kind of make it messy. But anyways, I'm going to have electric ran, run from the garage all the way over. I'll probably do an underground cable, come up to this pole, have a, a plug-in with a, an outdoor cover. Um, that'll take care of the waterfall. And also, um, I want um, lighting put in here, which will be nice so I can switch it on in, in the garage and then have lighting out here. So I don't have to come out here with a flashlight to check on him. I thought that perhaps the lighting could go, um, it had to be of course one of those um, cage cover lights that it could go up there and then maybe a spotlight on that pole right there. Um, that way one, I don't think he can pee on that. <laughs> uh, we have to think about those things. So it'll probably be on this side of the pole, maybe a spotlight that way and that way. Um, and skip the other one just so I can get out here and if I need to get to him I have lighting it's 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 important most like I said for years I've just been using flashlights but um, now we've got some donations and I'm gonna put them to um, good use so it'll be great so new roofing we've got some security lighting electricity and uh, a little pool pool for Max. So let's go say hi to him, okay? Hold on. Whoa, what do you think you're doing, huh? Say hello, Max. I know, butt rub, butt rub. So it is cold today. Yes, I'm out here with hat, scarf, gloves, two boots, and um, I'm freezing. Get up there. Up, 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 up. Can you get up? Come on. Up, 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 up. Ooh, good boy. Say hello, Max. Say hello to your followers, Max. So remember that fish that I gave him for Christmas? Well, that is some of it down there. That's not snow, that's fuzz from the stuffing. Some over there. Yeah, he pretty much demolished it. I'll show you. A, I got a picture of it. And I'll put it in the video. Oh. I'll tell you, he's, he's tough on his toys. Marking your scent, Max. Well, it 
looks like my battery's dying, guys. What are you doing? These sit. Can you sit? <laughs> Such a big oaf. Okay, one bar left. We'll see you guys.